Welcome. So I've made a number of videos. I installed a new hard dri drive in an Intel NUC. I created a thumb drive installer for Windows 10 and I installed it on the uh, MSATA drive with on, in the Intel NUC. And then the last video I did, I created a bootable thumb drive with uh, Ubuntu installer on it. And I want to install it on the Intel NUC on the uh, second SSD or the first SSD. It doesn't matter which one you call number one. So what I've done is I stuck the USB drive in the Intel NUC and I held down the F10 while it was booting and got to the boot page. And I want to go to this UEFI SanDisk Extreme 0001, which is the flash drive that I installed on. Okay, it's going into the, I think I missed the opportunity there to install, but this is works just as well. So now we have a desktop with Ubuntu on it and we can try it out or you can double click on this install Ubuntu right there. So I'll open up the installer and it asks me the language I want and I'll say continue, I want English and I want the US keyboard, I'll hit continue there. It asks if I want to do a normal install or a minimal install, and I want to do normal, and it will say it can download updates while installing, and I'll have it do that also. And it says I can erase Ubuntu and reinstall, it can erase disk and install Ubuntu. So let's click on that one and hit continue. It'll ask us which disk we want to use. So the larger one is the Ubuntu one, and then the smaller, the 250 gigabyte, is the Samsung SSD. So I will choose the 500 gigabyte, because this had Linux on it, but I want to do a fresh install. So I'll click that and hit install now. And it says it's going to destroy the partitions. So I'll hit continue. It's asking me where I am, and I'll just tell them in Chicago, because that's close enough. I'll hit continue. And it's going to ask for my name and a name for the computer and a username and a password. And I'll hit continue. Okay, so the install has finished. I'll hit restart. And now we have Ubuntu installed. Looks like there's a little help file here. It says, do I want to set up live patch? And I don't. It says, I don't want to send system info. Interestingly, when I did the Windows install, it asked me some of the same types of things if I wanted to send system info. And I said no on that also. And it says, you can open up software. I'll hit done. So now we have our Ubuntu desktop. Okay, so we had this screen pop up here. It looks like there are some updates available right off the bat. So we can install those. It's gonna ask for a password. And it's installing the updates. Okay, so the updates are done. I'll hit restart now. Okay, so we're rebooted, we're up to date. So if we wanted to go into Windows, since we installed Windows and then we installed Linux, the start screen has an option to do that. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.